it look out to the side of the walls, but this one actually looks down, okay? It's the first mouse that we made that we got to go to Japan with. So that was 1988. So this mouse is 35 years old. So When we went to Japan that time, this was the first mouse in the world to be able to do diagonals. Let's see what we could get now. This is Hal. Good evening, Mr. Hart. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is going extremely well. I have got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the space mission here in Orlando at 2023. Well, hello, Mr. Hart. So basically, uh, the, the idea is to build a robot that can find its way through the maze. It always starts in one corner, it's always going to the middle, and it knows both the corner and the heading that it has. All right. Our next contestant is Harjeet Singh. This is Zeta 6. So once we come up with a good name, then we hardly ever change it. We just keep adding numbers. So this mouse, if you see it stuttering a little bit, that's basically when it's thinking. And um, it, it's able to figure out the maze or solve the maze in like five or six milliseconds. So it's pretty fast. So how old is this one, Harji? What do you think? Ten years old. Ten years, all right. All right. Six feet. in the UK, they've been working on uh, a mouse that they can use as a kit that they can use to give to people to get started. And so Peter designed the kit and, and he's actually running the kit and you can have software or you can not, you know, you can uh, participate in, at different levels. So, so they're working hard to get more people involved uh, in, in this contest. You can tell from the camera shot here, this camera has some sensitivity to infrared, right? And so, you know, there's certain hot spots on the maze. And so sometimes that Im impacts the, uh, what the sensors do. So, so I like this entry because the tires he uses are square O-rings from a master car. This is something that anybody can get, right? This is easy. <laughs> give, give us another shot down the straightaway.
Uh, but, but I want you to at least see this, so it means it's guiding itself, it's propelling. So it's a start. Okay. Thank you. So the next one is another relic. This is Mighty Mouse 7, okay? So again, if you looked at the program, you would see that in 1994, this came in first place in Japan. So that was a significant uh, achievement for us. So it's got four wheel drive and four wheel steering. You probably can't see it from where you are, you might, okay? But when I turn it on, it's gonna turn all of its wheels in like this so that they'll run up against the battery and then they're going to slowly move them out to position. So it's trying to calibrate the encoders that are used for the shaft. There you go. So now everything should be pointing straight, okay? Now, in addition to four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering, it also has an extra sense of set of wheels here that are used to measure position. So even if the drive wheels are slipping, this these wheels will help you to figure out where you really are. This is sort of from before people had gyroscopes. And so uh, people do some of those functions with a gyroscope today. The other thing about the mouse is that it can only turn sharp enough for the high speed run. So in the search run, uh, it doesn't know that it wants to turn until it's gotten too far into the corner. It's not a good day. <laughs> so yeah, this is um, Zeta 7. I think this is like a 2014 mouse. The goal was to see how light we could make it, and uh, we got it down to 44 grams. And, um, and, and along the way, we made a lot of really bad decisions, like from a design for manufacturability or assembly or repair point of view. It's all epoxy together. Uh, there are no screws. Um, there is the only, there is no extraneous metal. There's carbon fiber shafts for the wheels, and the wheels are plastic. And um, so, yeah, I mean, we, we, we accomplished the goal of a light mouse, very low inertia, but um, I, I haven't finished the software yet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Travel is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, I hope some people notice that the brake lights come on when it slows down. So, so for those that didn't look at the in, in the uh, program, right, this mouse has a fan on it and it's sucking itself down to the ground. Fans are pretty much required in Japan to be competitive. Right. Oh, 